Hi, this is Kevin um, from Penang Island Jazz Festival. Come check us out at the main stage on the 5th and 6th of December, Jazz by the Beach, going beyond the music. And you're listening to Mag on AFO Radio. Broadcasting live from Paradigm Mall. My name is Mag in the studio with me. I have Kevin Tissera. He is the Administrative and Programming Assistant for the Penang Island Jazz Festival. It's another year, bigger, better as usual. Yes. Yeah. Always bigger, always better. Uh-huh. And Just like my waistline. <laughs> And it's happening from the 3rd to the 6th of December. Yeah. So what can people expect this year? I think this year you're going to see a lot of uh, new faces. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's going to be a festival of discovery. Mm -hmm. You're going to learn about more of the local uh, performance that we have involved with this year. Mm -hmm. I think uh, this year we've involved more than 50%, 60% of the local performance. Mm -hmm. And that includes the Penang Philharmonic Big Band, which we'll be playing on the main stage on the 5th. And um, we also have this opening concert on the 3rd in December at Trinity Love Lane, a beautiful venue at uh, Love Lane. It's actually an old uh, bungalow heritage building, which is converted into a boutique hotel. And we start off with uh, Liana Fizi. And for the first time ever, she's co collaborating with uh, Penang uh, household name Darren Rozelle. Mm -hmm. So they're going to do something special, um, just two of them, and joined by the Penang Fingerstyle Guitar Hub with Sheila Julius, Victor Ern, Brian Gunn, and Brent Chong. So basically, it's going to be all new programs. It's going to be not your average jazz festival as it always never is in the Penang Island Jazz Festival. It's going to be a very locally flavored festival this year. Now back for the 12th edition, it's more of a local flavour but here's one question Kevin, who should go for the Penang Island Jazz Festival? Only jazz fans or musical fans as a whole? Everybody, I mean when I went for the festival, I wasn't a jazz fan, I used to listen to rock, I was in a rock band called Kings and Queens mm -hmm. but you know when I went uh, the first time was with uh, Rhapsody which uh, essentially included Biju, uh, keyboardist Yuena and Justin Lim who is a uh, world music percussionist. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. So now he's an artist. So for me it's like it's another festival but the difference is that one is in, it's in Penang so you can enjoy good food while coming for the festival. Secondly, it's by the beach and all the uh, festival activities are near each other. Mm -hmm. So you could have like a really great date mm -hmm. if you had one, not like me. Speaking um, from experience here. <laughs> no, no, I, have, I had a great date with myself but I love the beach. <laughs> with yourself and your guitar. Um, not my guitar, la, I'm just spoiled. But basically, <laughs> it's it's a great environment to be in. I mean, how many festivals that anyone It's by the beach, see? right? Yeah, exactly, right? You can get up early in the morning, take a walk on the beach, head to Tropical Spice Gardens, take a dip in the ocean if you know how to swim. Yeah, <laughs> so you can tell I would swim. <laughs> yep, and basically just have really good fun uh, away from the city. So anybody and anyone, anyone and everyone can actually go and enjoy whatever is lined up for the Penang Island Jazz Festival, isn't it? Yes. Now, the Penang Island Jazz Festival isn't your normal music festival. It includes a whole lot of workshops, a lot of talks, also, you know, they've got fringe stages and a sun sunrise uh, performance as well. It's very different. It's a different flavour to a jazz festival, isn't it? Yes, essentially. Uh, it's basically a festival where you wake up, there's music. Before you go to sleep, there's music. Or even if you don't sleep, the music starts right away after the last song. So it fills your life with music. Yes. Nice. 